Oh, interesting decision here for Silvername. So Silvername is looking at, do I go for the permanent value of the deep blue buff on the Lava Lurker, or do I think I'm going to die if I do that? And do I just make my Myrmidon bigger, which gets more value now, but less value in the long run? I mean, deep Lava Lurker. <gasps> that, oh, oh, that, that is by far the worst hit. And we see that Silvername is not happy with that at all, chat. Wow, that's horrible. absolutely brutal. After after going all in on the Myrmidon, that hurts to see. And a little bit of a smirk on Sarko's face after pulling that <laughs> off. Ooh, big hit. Gets the Nutter um, Draconic. Wow. Well, we're out. Oh. Silver name on 10 with the Tethys. Silver though. name. Not yeah, just oh steals turn. the brand with the Merzal. This is a huge this is a huge turn. This might be Can you do it? This is pretty defining for the rest of the lobby. If Silvername yeah. survives this turn, his chances of winning the lobby are huge. A few moments later. Talk about stats. Gallywix. This was... actually might be scary for Gallywix. Like these players are really putting up an effort. Like Gallywix just wants to win the lobby. He just wants to get and a free And the players win, are guys. like, no. No way. You're gonna have to fight for it. Yeah. 6, 10. <gasps> That's 15! 14. Oh, 15. oh, my God! I'm, I'm That's so, so awful. Oh, that's so awful for Silvername. I, I bet if he fights almost any other player in the lobby this turn, he's going to be okay and he wins the game. What can Akuyasar do to survive? He does have one couple good minions. He Okay, he's going for more hags for more reborn. I like his play. I think considering his position, this is the best you can oh, do. Oh, for sure. You get two kills from the Leroy. You get two kills from the poison, hopefully, right? And then, This is very and then, optimistic with one taunt, but yes, I hear you. And Jeef is like, well, let me just play a blaster just in case he's going to try to do something with hags. Like this really yeah, this looks more like a ladder board. And there goes the Leroy dying for free. A little bit rough. We're going to see uh, Chief take the first place. Card out oh. on the board, or JJ, and it's still getting. JJ getting a nice four drop here. Like early, early spellcraft farming is like that's not a bad target for your hero power. Yeah, just taking seven here or eight here does hurt though. So. Hopefully he can recover with some of the deep blues that he's got. Hey, is that a zesty? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that smile. He likes it. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my lord, do you see what happened? The tier 4 siren hit deep blue three times. That can't be. Look, that's, he only has two deep blues on the board. Uh, Where did the other three come from? We are looking at a way to leave only two units in the shop, eat those two, and put all the deep blue buffs on those minions. So yeah, it does I think seem... he has the same idea. So oh, he's going case... for Nagas. Okay. Right. So he's looking for oh, Zesty. Oh, wow. Actually he hit it. Wow. He's actually too good. OFC. Okay. All right. Double Bram. I mean, this is not the that taunt strong. on the taunt. Quite Can we connect? I mean, the shield on the target. Oh, he connects! He hits the irrelevant target. It does mean that um, he will live, right? Because yeah. Bristleback will die in a lot of cases. Copium. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. This Octo is milking. Yeah, the altar is huge. He's he milking! But there's nothing you could do there. What a beautiful coiler, though. As an RDU fan, you love to see that. Oh, gets the triple on Draconic, wow. It's really good. Has four Draconic triggers. That is a yikes. Finds another Tempest, but it's all this old one. Is he leaning Kelly? What is, what is, what is he leaning? Yeah, this really feels like a setup that did not quite fully take off. Hits, on. right, yeah. Well, and like, you, I, you get so many, if you had a the God, there, Kelly. Uh, if you had the Kelly, <laughs> Whoa, what are these rolls? That was so good. I was okay. like, I will switch to Togwaggle, please. Yes, whole shop. Thank you. All right. Can so, eat the knife bean twice if you really want to. Yeah, I can get the permanent attack. He's keeping the shields, and that's probably the reason why. Yeah, I think you keep the shields. 
I don't think you're eating Nightbane twice, though. You can just do it again next turn. Sure. It just dies, comes back, you play it. Oh! <laughs> that's why you kept the shields, Chad. That's kind of nice, yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh, uh, getting a zap. That makes tempo. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Keeps the shields, gets rewarded, and that might just be the tempo Matsuri needs to be okay here, Chad. Ah, two minions survive. Let me hit you with 15, my friend. Pretty rough. Does get the three gems and very likely has a nice salt turn. So this is a very common sell and buy something for most players. And Fritters does have a really nice buy here, going for the Watcher. Oh, let's go. This is actually so He's nice. Skipping it, though. This is such a good setup now, because when you triple the Malchazar, the rolls will reset. So that is another four yeah. health on the Rewinder, another four triggers on the... Uh, um, did he lose the, the fight? Watcher. He did. Oh my god. Another Malkazar? Well, that I don't mind if I do. Well, thank you very much, Ken. Overconfidence? No. Okay. Oh, no, no. Now he can buy that. Oh, that 2 4. That's so. This is such a fantastic this is... turn. Wow. For... Oh, my wow. lord. Wow. Yeah, you have so many rolls. Yeah, take the 8 8, I think. It's just. 8 8 is decent value, and then you don't have to think anymore because it's so much work to. Yeah, what's potentially interested in freezing the uh, the other two four demon? Th this may be one of the nastiest like demon turns I've ever seen from anyone. Yes. Like in this in this season, like what Re happened? Where this is eight gold. Really looking for Leroy. Looking for base skill. Looking for more Belcher. Yeah, he needs a Leroy or something. It's better than reborning a Silva. I'll put it that way. Uh, that's you know, if, if you're looking at reborning something, you'd, you'd rather... Ooh, that is a great hit! Yeah. Okay. Well, I think right now we're already very vulnerable to Bramble, so it's more of a... Well, if I don't get Bramble, I have this, and that'd be great. But that yeah, makes sense. Double sell you play two. You gotta go for two, yeah. You're on two health, can't be messing yeah, around. I, I agree with that. It's a nice play. Buffing the shop and then eating it. Yep. Clean! And yes, please no bramble. That's uh, that would be really, this, really this was a crazy good turn from him. Like I, well done. Yeah, such a fantastic end game uh, decision here by the correct. This is great. Yeah, yeah, we're very well well done there. Ooh. All right. Oh my lord! What a hero power! That is so strong. You now can no longer stop the combo. Because we rolled the Terran hero power, the demon now always dies as the first demon. The imp is always going to be inside the cultist. Like, I cannot stress how strong that is, chat. This is so tough to counter now. Yeah, it, it is really tough to beat that now. Nah. Damn, that board is huge. Okay, okay, Matsuri found a really, really strong board. With his setup, wow. 16. Oh, we do have this shield. No, yeah. no, no. Wow. Masterclass, to be honest. Yeah. Now, the good thing is that this is very hard to replicate. So you can't really say, oh, the meta is being ruined by kill off your demon with Terran hero power into two reborn cultists because, you know, good luck getting that. That's, that's extremely hard to play. Yeah. I was just wondering if there was an opportunity to... Um, Ooh, this Jandis. Just to make that big demon, but I don't think so. Look at that mech beast. Like it has a hundred seventy. Whoa! Effect. That is so oh, hard. To is there shell elemental on this board? Because then I know what's happening, right? I don't think so. So if Jandis gets a hold of a shell elemental, she can swap her biggest minion in the shop yeah. every turn and just copy it. So it's ridiculous. Ooh, so normally when you're thinking about these games, you're looking to be an honor, an honorable fella, right? You're looking to be like, okay, I have my big minion, you have your big minion, which one's bigger? But these damn gamers here, they're like, you know what? I don't want to do it. Yet. They're trying to win. I just want to have insta-kill here, insta-kill here, here's a Bravo here, here's a Leroy here. That's a tough one. And place. that's just been effective. But here, <laughs> got to show this. This, this is, is what I'm this talking is about. Look, look, look. He has two yeah. Shellementals in his hand, the uh, the spells. 
This is what I'm talking about. None of that BS insta kill minions. Uh, I'm gonna make a 2,000 attack mech beast and call it a day. I mean, but look, what look I'm what he's doing. About. Like he's literally yeah, just swapping it in the this shop. Is, and this like, is not valid. This I, is not honorable. I don't think Jamis should be allowed in Naga lobbies. Like, look at this chat. Here we go. Really tell you this is what we call oh. honorable. Plus 3,000 attack. Uh, 3,000 yeah. attack again. Oh, well, that was that was yeah. nice. Yeah. And both both of them are against each other. They kind of know, like, yeah, what can you do? The fact that the stats are on bulls makes it so much better. Yeah. Well, yeah. well done. Well done.